Hey Marvel Legends fans and collectors, welcome back to a set of uh, Marvel Legends reviews which I'm going to be doing this week and it's of the Thor Love and Thunder wave. Um, this wave does have some fantastic figures. I've already done the Ravager Thor, I did that a few weeks ago um, when that did start to drop here in Australia. But uh, yeah, I've, I've pretty much got the rest of the wave, just need to pick up Star-Lord. Um, so he's the last one I need to fit pick up the wave and finish off the builder figure, which is Korg. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd start with the Mighty Thor, also known as Jane Foster. At this point, I have seen Thor, uh, Love and Thunder, fantastic, I really, really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I thought it was a perfect time to take a look at some of these, some of these figures. I think they've come out reasonably well. Um, so yeah, this one, obviously, based on Natalie Portman, on. Still unsure how I feel about the uh, face sculpt here. I don't think the eyebrows are painted on uh, particularly evenly. <laughs> um, but some some sides looks a lot like her. Get her in some lights and others, not so much. I did try and uh, like do the old boil and sort of squash the face just a little bit wider. Um, I feel like she is a slightly more slender, uh, narrower, narrower face. That could just be me. That's just what I'm interpreting. <clears throat> um, yeah, the the hair being an obvious, you know, bright shade of yellow. There is a little bit of weathering there that you can sort of pick up. Just to sort of, I think that could have been a little bit heavier. She was a little bit darker brown throughout the top there, um, and then maybe some wispy white highlights through the end, just to sort of bring out a little bit of that blondness. But overall, not too bad. Nicely sculpted, at least. I love the hair on the back. That looks good. She does come with an alternate head, her helmeted head. Which is also pretty nice. Again, the sort of matte black plastic. I've seen people, some people go as far as, you know, repainting the helmet in a silver, just so it looks, it's got less of that sort of plasticky, pearlescent, moulded look. Um, but yeah, I did sort of pick up in a few places in the movie where I don't think Natalie Portman was actually wearing a helmet. I think, uh, the helmet was a digital inclusion and, uh, it gave them the freedom to sort of choose which shot she'd have the helmet on. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I think this is a, a nice head sculpt for a, you know, a fully armored Mighty Thor, Jane Foster. So she does come with Mjolnir, sort of reforged for her in her time of need, which is really, really cool. It's good. I've, I've seen other people sort of highlight the cracks a little bit more, put a little bit of a black wash. I think the handle looks good, a nice sort of metallic silver, as well as the sort of metallics over the armor. I think that looks really good. Just overall sort of nice, pleasing aesthetic. I like that the cape's actually red as opposed to that sort of off orangey red look they've been using in the past. Now I feel like she came with another hand, but if I have, I've misplaced it or put it somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, for now it's just the sort of open hand and to the uh, hammer wielding hand. But yeah, I think this is a nice one. It's got all the good articulation, pinless, pinless joints, which is really, really nice. Great details, sort of sculpted throughout. I like that down there on the back. Even the mold of the cape looks nice. Don't have a doubt in the world that this is probably reused from somewhere, but well, potentially not. It does have the uh, the big silver circles up the top there, so this may be maybe a new cape sculpt or slightly retooled. I'm not sure. As I've stated in the past, I'm not a Marvel Legends expert, but um, I do like to dabble and uh, yeah, big big fan of big fan of four. Big fan of Thor, so I picked up, definitely wanted to pick up the wave. 
yeah, those eyebrows definitely aren't painted on super straight. You can sort of see where the light's hitting the sculpt of the eyebrows. So that's probably giving a slightly off look as well, but not too fussed at all. You sort of see a little bit of highlights on the cheeks there. Just from the sculpt, not necessarily painted to sort of embellish the shape of her cheeks much, but you know, again, these are like, you know, 30, $40 toys, so it's not a big deal. So let's just do a head swap so we can see what she looks like with the armored head. And I really do like that look. I think it looks fantastic. It's sort of soft plastic there for the ears. You're not gonna, no one's gonna poke their eyes out with it. So that's definitely a safety thing as opposed to a, you know, an aesthetic cheap decision. <laughs> Very, very nice. I'll be up next with Gore the God Butcher, so stay tuned for that one. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please send out in the comments what you think. If you're happy to see me do some more Marvel Legends, please let me know. Um, you know, these are part of my collection, and uh, I, have fun, I have fun looking at them, and, uh, you know, thought I'd add them to my channel every now and then. So, yeah, let me know. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.